Hey friends, how's it going? And welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, thanks for joining. My name is Brandy. Some of you may know me as Live With Bib on Instagram. I do also have a blog at livewithbib.com. Welcome to my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be notified of new videos. Okay, you guys, so today I have a very special video for you. I know most of you are here for the polish, but I'm also including some vlog footage from my weekend. I got to spend the weekend with my daughter in Charleston, South Carolina. And because I'm reviewing the new Essie Hostess with the Mostess collection, and I spent my weekend with the Hostess with the Mostess, I'm going to include some vlog footage of us just kind of hanging out. So I'll kind of split it up. So if you guys aren't interested in any vlog footage, I'll let you guys know where to go down here. And if you're interested in the vlog footage, just keep watching. Otherwise, I will let you know, as far as this polish collection goes, it is a CBS exclusive polish collection. I have not found it anywhere out here in Seattle, Washington, but my brother, Brad, and my sister-in-law, Ashley, God love them. They found this collection at the CBS in Peoria, Illinois, so they actually got it and shipped it out here to me so I could review it for you guys. The SD Hostess with the Moses collection is a CBS exclusive collection, which I hate it when they do exclusive collections because it's so hard to find in some areas of the country, and of course, it's also hard to find in other areas of the world, but nonetheless, it is a six piece collection and I wasn't really super excited about the colors because it just looks like a lot of brownie yellow orangey colors and and I primarily just wanted to get it to review for you guys but I did find that I liked the colors a lot more once I actually got my hands on them and started swatching them. So stay tuned, I will let you guys know which ones are my faves and which ones you can pass on. And as always, I'm going to include the little asterisk next to any of the comparison polishes so that you guys know those are available at Beyond Polish. You all know that I have a Beyond Polish code. My affiliate code for 10% off is BIV10, so B-I-V-10. I greatly appreciate any of you guys that use the code. It really helps me out and helps me keep making these videos now without further ado, let's get to some footage from my weekend in Charleston. Okay you guys, so here we are starting off on Rainbow Row in Charleston. This has to be one of the most photographed areas of Charleston from what I've read. Rainbow Row is a series of 13 bright pastel colored historic homes located on East Bay Street just along the Battery. We had so much fun taking photos here. There weren't too many people out. It was a cloudy day and it was so fun and we made such great memories. It's actually really interesting. You can find quite a bit of information on Rainbow Row in the specific houses and there's quite a bit of history behind each of these homes and Rainbow Row in general. If you're ever in Charleston, make sure to stop by Rainbow Row for some great photos. And of course, how can you go to Charleston without going to the beach? So we ended up going to a place called Folly Beach. We were almost the only people there and it was perfect besides the wind and it was a little bit cold, but it was still perfect. We had so much fun. <laughs> hey. hey guys, we're out at Folly Beach here in South Carolina and it's a little windy, but we are taking in the sun, the blue skies, and the waves in our sweats. Well, sweatshirt. <laughs> sweatshirt and jeans. Here, let's see if I can pull this out. And then of course you can't go to Charleston without getting some uh, amazing southern food. So we stopped at a place called Raising Cane's. I'd never eaten at one. I'm not sure if it's even just a southern thing, but the chicken was amazing. So much flavor, the sauce was amazing, and they had sweet tea. <laughs> I mean, what more could you ask for? And then uh, moving right along to some more food, we met up with Riley's friend, Brittany and she introduced us to an amazing burger place on Sullivan's Island and we ate like the largest burgers we've ever had in our entire life and they were so good. And Brittany was seriously the sweetest. <laughs> and of course, I love bridges, I love architecture and so we had to go over the Arthur Ravenel Jr. Bridge. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right, but the bridge is beautiful, <laughs> it was so worth it, it was freaking gorgeous. 
overall, Charleston is an absolutely beautiful city. If you ever get the chance to go, I definitely recommend it. They've got good food, it's fun, it's fabulous, everyone's friendly, and I highly recommend it. All right, let's get to the polishes. Okay, you guys getting right into these polishes. This first one is In Good Taste, and this is a gorgeous nude. This has a great formula. It's opaque in two coats, and I actually really like this nude on my nails. I feel like it doesn't make my skin look too red or anything, and it's just basically perfect. And here you can see comparison. So I have it compared here to Topless and Barefoot, Saint Tropez, and Wild Nude, all by Essie. You can see how those compare. And then Go Go Geisha by Essie, OPI, Don't Bossa Nova Me Around, and Essie Expressy Buns Up. And Essie Expressy Buns Up does look pretty close here, but it's a tad bit warmer. And then here we have Essie Keep Branching Out from their Spring 2022 collection. Essie Cocktails and Coconuts and Essie Jock Couture Buttoned and Buffed. And last but not least, we have Essie Mindful Meditation and Essie Expressy Millennium Momentum. And you can see how those compare. Okay, next up is Centerpiece of Attention. And I have no idea how to describe this polish because I feel like, sometimes I feel like it looks yellow, sometimes it looks green, and sometimes it's just tan. So just take a look at the live swatch and the swatch photo and you guys can get an idea of your own definition of this color. So this is opaque in two coats and it was really hard to find a dupe for this polish. It's definitely a very unique polish and I actually kind of like it. I wasn't a huge fan of it when I saw it in the bottle, but it kind of grew on me as I was swatching. Guys, let me know what you think of this polish in the comments. Okay, comparisons. Here we have Orly Golden Afternoon from their new Spring 2022 collection. I will have a review of that collection coming up soon. And then you can see Essie Keep Branching Out. Kind of looks pretty similar, but it's a little less yellow tone. And then so I pulled out some yellows. So here we have Essie, you know the espadrille. Essie All or Nothing. And then Orly Here Comes the Sun. And you can see those are all quite a bit more yellow. So then I pulled out Essie Expressy Fueled Up. I thought that was gonna be an exact dupe, but it definitely is not. So let me know, what do you guys think is a dupe for this polish? I cannot wait to hear your thoughts and I might do some comparisons on my Instagram if you guys have any thoughts. Okay, next up we have Buzzworthy Bash. And <laughs> this is another one, it was kinda hard to describe. It looks orange in some lighting and it looks yellow in some lighting. So maybe yellow orange. <laughs> this is a two coater. It is opaque in two coats and the formula is great. The formula on all of these polishes is amazing. They're all two coaters, except for the mint color. The mint color is a three coater. Getting into comparisons. Here we have Orly Lion's Ear. Essie Caftan and Essie Fall for NYC. So you can see how those all compare. Next up we have Essie Expressy Don't Hate Curate, which was pretty similar. And then China Glaze Autumn's Up and China Glaze Mustard the Courage. So you can see how those compare. They're more yellow. And then here we have Essie Expressy Saffron the Move. China Glaze Sunny You Should Ask and Morgan Taylor Catch Me If You Can. And you can see how all of those compare. Okay, then we have the namesake of the collection, Hostess with the Mostess. I really love this polish. It's a gorgeous peach and it applies like butter and I think it's perfect for spring. And then here we are getting into comparison. So Essie Set in Sandstone, Essie You're a Catch, and OPI Nature Strong, A Clay in the Life. So you can see how all of those compare. And then here we have Orly Dance With Me and Essie High Class Affair and you can see those are lighter. You guys, most likely you have a dupe to this polish somewhere in your collection, or at least something that's similar. So I didn't do a ton of comparisons. I guess I probably should have, but I didn't. Let me know if you guys wanna see any other comparisons. I can post those on my Instagram. Okay, next up is Blooming Friendships. And this is probably my fave from the collection. I love mint polishes like this. It was a three coater, but those three coats were nice and easy. And this is just a must have mint. And I'm sure you guys are wondering how this compares to other mints such as 
Essie Mint Candy Apple, so you can see that here. And then I also have the bluer version of Mint Candy Apple, so you can see that here as well. And then Essie Flight of Fantasy is darker, and that's from the Essie Spring 2022 collection. Next up, we have Blossom Dandy by Essie, Essie Blue La La, and Essie Strike a Positano. And you can see how all of those mint slash blue polishes compare. And last but not least, we have OPI Gelato On My Mind, which I actually have two different versions of Gelato On My Mind. One is more minty like this, and then one is more blue. OPI Suzy Without a Paddle, and then Color Club Naturally Seafoam Surfer. And you guys, I'm going to have a review of quite a few Color Club Naturally polishes coming up soon, so stay tuned for that. And last but not least from this collection, this is another fave of mine from the collection. This is Rose to the Occasion, and this is a gorgeous pinky red. I'm sure you already have a dupe to this polish, so definitely not a must-have, but if you like these colors and you want another one, go ahead and pick it up. <laughs> okay, and then Draco, Riley's new pup, had to make an appearance. We actually got this toy for him. It's a rose and he loves it and it matched rose to the occasion. So of course I had to show him with this polish. <laughs> okay, and then getting right into comparisons. Here we have OPI Nature Strong Big Bloom Energy, Essie No Shade here, and Essie Come Here. So you can see how all of those compare. And then here we have Essie Toy to the World from their winter collection. Essie Resort Romanza, and then Essie Eclair My Love. And you can see how all of those compare. Last but not least, we have Essie Jocature Bold Boundaries, Essie Cute as a Button, and OPI My Chihuahua Bites, so you can see how those compare. All right, guys, so let me know down in the comments, what did you think of this collection? Is it a collection that you think you're gonna pick up any of the colors, or do you think you're gonna pass on any of these? Because a lot of them kind of are pretty dupable, but yeah. Let me know. <laughs> Otherwise, stay tuned. I've got the Essie Moving and Grooving collection. I've got Orly Spring. I've got OPI Xbox. I've got <laughs> a lot more polishes coming. So stay tuned. I love you all. Hope you all have an absolutely amazing week. Bye.